We have two experts on nuclear safety tonight in Washington, James Acton with the Carnegie Endowment. And joining me here in New York is Cham Dallas, a University of Georgia professor and CBS News nuclear safety consultant. James Acton, how serious do you think the situation is right now in Japan? Well, Katie, it's clearly deteriorated in the last 24 hours. The explosion inside the containment of reactor unit two is significant and the fire in the spent fuel pool of reactor number four is significant. And both of these events have created new pathways for the release of radioactivity into the, into the environment. But what I think it's important to emphasize is that the possibility of a catastrophic release of radiation equivalent to Chernobyl is still very low. James, how long do officials have to get this situation under control in your view? It's very, very hard to put any kind of time estimate on it. I mean, we have effectively no experience of managing this kind of accident before. I mean, you know, one of the issues is that it's clear a lot of the instrumentation, a lot of the measuring gauges and devices inside of the reactors are at the best untrustworthy and at the worst just not functioning anymore. So not even the operators themselves at the moment really understand what's going in, on in the cause of those reactors. Cham, you called the infusion of seawater the Hail Mary uh, that the Japanese officials were doing. What else is in their arsenal they can call on? Well, uh, the arsenal's getting smaller uh, on the Japanese end, uh, especially after they start entering uh, seawater into the reactor. Um, they have a, a few options left, but they, they are really diminishing. That's why they're calling on us. James, there have been some questions about these reactors and specifically their design. What can you tell us about that? Well, there have been some questions, uh, you know, that have been raised for a while about the integrity of their containment vessels. But I think there's actually a bigger safety issue here. I think the question this raises, both in Japan and in the whole of the rest of the world, is whether the so-called design basis for reactors is sufficient. Have we correctly predicted the size of natural disasters or man-made disasters to which they might be subject? What about the 140,000 people who have been told to stay inside and not evacuate? What are the health risks to them? Well, right now, with the numbers that we have, um, those numbers are, are, are not good. I mean, it's not good to be in that area. But being inside really does cut down uh, the exposure significantly. It's a good policy that they're telling them. All right. James Acton and Cham Dallas. Gentlemen, thank you both.